Today we'll discuss CMI's 2022 paper which was conducted on 22nd May and the first question is suppose A0, A1, A2, A3 be an arithmetic progression with A0 and A1 positive integers and let G0, G1, G2 be geometric progression such that G0 equals A0 and G1 equals A1 then which of the following statements is or are correct. Now if we look at this arithmetic progression then the terms are A0 a1, A2, A5 and then we have A8, A9 and A10 and we know that in an AP arithmetic mean of Rth term from the beginning and Rth term from the end it is equal to its middle term if it has odd number of terms. So in this case A0 plus A10 by 2 it will be equal to A5. Now AM is greater than or equal to GM. So it will be greater than or equal to under root of A0 A10. And we square it. We will get this as A5 square. It will be greater than or equal to A0 into A10. That means the statement 1 is correct. Now the statement 2 is the sum A0 plus A1 up to A10. It must be a multiple of integer A5. As stated previously a0 plus a10 by 2 will be equal to a1 plus a9 by 2 I will go all the way up to a4 plus a6 by 2 and it will be equal to a5. So this sum say s it can be expressed as 2 times a5, 2 times a5, 5 times and plus a5 which is simply 11 times a5 which is a multiple of integer a5 that means the statement 2 is also correct. Now this third one is sum of infinite terms of this AP that is this summation i varies from 0 to infinite ai it is plus infinite it simply means that it is an increasing AP with common difference greater than or equal to 0. So basically a1 it will be greater than or equal to a0. Now, for this GP, its common ratio, it will be A1 upon A0 and A1 upon A0 is greater than or equal to 1. And since R for this GP is 1 and greater than 1 and it contains positive terms, sum of GP will also diverge. So, sum of the GP will also be plus infinite. That means statement 3 is also correct. Now, if we look at this statement 4, it says sum of infinite gp it is finite now we know that the sum is finite when r or mod r it is less than 1 now it means a1 upon a0 will be greater than minus 1 but less than 1 and from here we'll get a1 is less than a0 now if a1 is less than a0 then basically common difference is less than 0 and if common difference is less than 0 then sum of infinite terms of an AP will be minus infinite that means this statement 4 is also correct. So all the 4 statements 1, 2, 3, 4 they are correct. 